make the favor between if Gervonta was to fight Shakur and if Gervonta was to fight Haney? I think Shakur beats them all. I really believe that. I believe that Shakur is the best lightweight in the world. Uh, Lomachenko will give him a good fight, but I would still favor Shakur. What? Uh, and uh, even over Haney as well. And even over Haney as Hell well. No. Haney is in there with a good chance against Shakur, but I really have always been tremendously high on Shakur, and particularly now he just keeps getting better and better. So, okay, so that answers the question of Shakur versus Gervonta, because you wouldn't favor anybody over Shakur. But what about um, Devin Haney versus um, Gervonta? Who would you kind of make the favorite in that one? I would make Haney the favorite in that one. Why is that exactly? I, I just think he's a better fighter. You know, again, a lot of this is subjective. And, uh, 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 you know, that's how I see it. I, I had to, I had to play that. that this was Bob Arum doing a fight hype interview. Being uh, this was right after he announced that Devin Haney and Loma Chico have have locked it up. They will be fighting. They just haven't found the uh, the place in the arena yet. They're trying to maximize what they can get from the fight, so they're shopping it around. Now, with that being said, I thought. It was very surprising to hear Bob Arum say that he favors Shakur Stevenson over all of them. And not necessarily the fact that he said it over Devin Haney and Tank Davis. First of all, even if Devin Haney is signed with top rank right now, it's only a three-fight deal. So Devin Haney, I think after this fight, can go on about his business. If he wants to, he can stick around and try to fight Shakur Stevenson, which I believe he will do, but the point is, Shakur Stevenson is actually signed to Bob Arum, from what I gather, long term compared to Devin Haney anyway. Now, with that being said, Tank Davis, on the other hand, is supposedly now a free agent, but we do know he's doing he's doing work with Showtime, and I still believe he's um, being managed by by Al Haney. So he ain't really under Bob Arum's thumb. So it's not really no reason for him to say Tank Davis as far as any real incentive to say Tank Davis. And not really for Devin Haney because, I mean, he could to try to keep Haney around. But why would you do that? And then perhaps insult Shakur Stevenson, who's really, who's really your baby golden goose, which leads me to Loma Chico, who was sort of, kind of your golden goose, sort of, kind of, maybe a couple years back. But he put so much praise in Lomachenko in the past, even though Lomachenko lost to Teofimo, even though Shakur Stevenson is clearly the future of the company if he sticks around for top rank long term. But he just put so much in the Lomachenko, it's hard to believe that he would say anybody would beat Lomachenko. I mean, after all, this is the guy that started his company with Muhammad Ali. This is the guy that had Floyd Mayweather, and not when he was Money Mayweather, but when he was Floyd, when he was Pretty Boy Floyd Mayweather, knocking people out. And he would say on a regular basis Lomachenko was the best fighter he's ever seen and I just told you who he started this company with and who he's had. Matter of fact, he even had Oscar De La Hoya. He just would totally disregard these dudes and say Lomachenko was the best fighter he ever seen point blank period. So I was a little shocked to hear him say that he will push the core Stevenson over Lomachenko. That's a lot of praise considering the things he said about Lomachenko in the past. Now, I also found this somewhat interesting that he said he would take Devin over Tank. But it seems to be that's the way most people are thinking as of late. I'm not exactly sure about that one. I mean, I'm not. Only reason why I believe Shakur or Devin would give Tank 
the business is because their height advantage over them. Tank is only 5'5". Five, five. Both of them boys are like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, something like that. Their height advantage and their speed might be a little much. And you might be able to you might see the same thing with Ryan Garcia. Who knows? But the fact that them boys, and I think Ryan like 5'9", five, 5'10", five, he'll he a little taller than Shakur and Devin. But them boys have so much more length than Tank. And their hand speed is probably about the same. So that might that reach might actually be a problem. But Tank clearly has the power advantage over all of them, including Orion Garcia. But it's the length. You got to get inside their length. And that could be the deciding factor. But if Tank was a little, uh, let's say if Tank was 5'7", I, I think Tank would wash all of them. I think that's the, that's the biggest difference. The speed is about the same. The reflexes is about the same. You know, Tank can, can match them in footwork, all of that. He can be just as defensive as those guys, all of that. But he's just so much shorter than them. I believe that would be the reason that he would lose if he lose to him. Now here's the thing. Devin and 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 uh Shakur can't really crack. So more than likely more than likely Tank will be in the fight at least with a puncher's chance from round one to round twelve. So they will have to survive getting through that whole fight without being caught with something nice. So I think all of it, Tank and Lomachenko, now that's a different story. Tank is a little closer to Lomachenko's size height-wise. So, I don't know. I, I, I think Tank might, and especially at this point, I think Tank might give him the business. But all of my interesting matchups, I would love to see all of these guys fight each other, especially if you throw Ryan in the mix. But uh, Tank Davis has already said after he get past Ryan Garcia, well, Garcia, Hector Garcia, then Ryan Garcia, if he get past both of those guys, he won't even either Devin Haney or Shakur Stevenson next. Me personally, I would I would prefer Devin Haney if I was tank. Because if if Devin get past Lomachenko, I want them belts. If Lomachenko get past Devin, I want them belts. Either way, the winner of that fight would be the guy I would be looking at come uh the end of the summer or something like that because i think he's fighting ron like in april or whatever so that fight if he get if he beat ron we could be looking for tank to possibly fight the winner come maybe september or something like that plus whether you know people keep you know pushing this to the side but tank is Devin haney's wb mandatory anyway so he it ain't like he ain't lined up for it so we could be seeing a clash with Tank Davis and the winner of Lomachenko versus Devin Haney. Or, if he can't get that fight, like he said, after he get through the, the Garcias, if he get through the Garcias, then he would love to fight Shakur Stevenson. Either way, man, whew, that's a whole lot of good matchmaking you can make. And who knows, if Ryan uh, knocks off Tank, Maybe Ryan would, would, would take on one of those guys. But I think after Ryan deal with Tank, he's moving up to 140 regardless. He said he don't want to be at 135 no more. Hence is why they're fighting at a catch rate. And that's pretty much all I got this head bustle boxes on. Fight Doctor. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section and let me know. Was Bob and I'm right? It's Cool Stevenson, the best out of those four. Keep me up and let me know what you think this hair bustin' box is on Fight Doctor I am out.